Today on the DIY Designer, I'm showing you guys how to make these no-sew, no-seam wrap skirts made out of one piece of fabric. And as a bonus, I've got this incredible sewing tutorial, great for beginners, and this can be worn a million different ways. Today's incredible DIY is brought to you by Skillshare. If you don't know what Skillshare is, it's an online community where millions of creatives come together to learn a new skill or deepen a skill they already have. One of my favorite new courses is this animation station with Neil Patrick Harris. This is so fun and playful. I absolutely love it. He sits down with this incredible artist named John Bergerman, and John gives him these amazing hacks and tips and tricks for creating these characters. So one of the first things they do is start creating a face, and it's very quick that Neil Patrick Harris gets overwhelmed with the body. So John has this awesome hack, which is ripping up random pieces of construction paper and trying to grab different pieces of it until you create a body that maybe you wouldn't have done on your own. What's cool is that it gets your brain out of the sort of confines of what you're capable of, and it creates new shapes that you wouldn't have otherwise been able to create. It's a really cool technique, and they do it when it comes to the face, which is one of the hardest parts. By sliding those pieces around, he can start to figure out what actually creates the look and the expression that he wants. Then he goes in and draws that once it's already there. He also teaches him how to use this awesome program on the iPad, which creates animation. They take this blob and they have it like jump into the water. You create your beginning place and your end place, and then you fill in the gaps. He ends up creating this awesome little guy that does like a flip in the air. Oh, it's just so much fun. And it's courses like this that made me fall in love with Skillshare and you will too. So the first thousand of you that tap the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium so you can have access to the thousands and thousands of creative courses at your disposal. Now, now, let's get into today's DIY because it is killer. What's up, guys? Welcome to the DIY Designer. Happy Friday. I'm so rocking glad that you guys are here today because this is going to be one of the most useful DIYs ever. Uh, for those of you that are new, my name is Orly Shani, and this is the DIY Designer. I do kind of like high-end DIY fashion and home decor. Uh, admittedly, the techniques are not high-end, but usually the result is killer, and I'm super stoked about today's. Now, if you did watch last week's video, transforming regular winter jackets into like those big faux fur collar and cuff, temporary, it was put on with magnets, really, really cool. At the end of that video, I talked about today's video, which was a no-sew, no-seam, wrap skirt, which can be worn like 10 different ways. Anyone can do it regardless of skill level, regardless of technical ability, it is killer. However, there was something else on my DIY list that I really wanted to do and it's the never fully dressed um, leopard skirt. It's like the Jasper skirt, I think. They always do these styling videos on all the ways that you can wear that one wrap skirt. It's worn as a skirt, like five different ways. It's worn as a dress, five different ways. It's worn as a top, five different ways. It's a really cool, versatile piece. And so I am going to show you guys, for those of you that know how to sew, the sewing version, how to create that skirt as well. Now, really important tip about the fabric. Please do not fast forward this. This is really, really important. If you're doing the no sew version, you have to be very specific about the fabric that you buy. Number one, you need to make sure that it either cuts clean, meaning no fraying, or that the way it frays looks cool. We are not hemming anything, right? This is totally no sew, no glue, no nothing. So you wanna make sure that however that ends, that you like the way it looks. Number two, you wanna make sure that you get a fabric that is opaque enough that it's not sheer. We're not gonna be lining it, obviously, because it's no-sew, so, so you wanna make sure that single layer is sufficient to give you the coverage that you need. The next thing, I recommend getting something that's four-way stretch. What that's gonna allow you to do is lay your fabric any which way you want in order to get the most length when you cut it, right? So we need really long length for those straps. It's all one piece. If it's not a solid fabric and it's a pattern, make sure it's a pattern that looks cool in any direction. Again, that way you have flexibility. Let's get into this. Again, if you guys are new, I hope that you like what you see and I hope you'll subscribe. I do brand new DIYs every Friday and then bonus ones every once in a while on Sunday. Okay, I love you guys, let's get right into it. All right, first things first, start with a filthy room and put it on the internet. Okay, next thing, take your measuring tape and go around your hip measurement. You're gonna be doing about one and a half times your hip measurement. For me, that was around 48 to 54. Okay, I'm gonna sketch out the pattern because I think this will be helpful um, as a visual when I'm actually cutting. Now, we know the measurement, right? So let's say for me, the measurement for a wrap skirt is gonna be between 48 
and 54, depending on whether my fabric is stretch or not. 48 if it's stretch, 54 if it's not stretch. Now, the majority of them are gonna be kind of rounded out. What you wanna make sure to do is you're gonna kinda go straight, then you're gonna round it, and you kinda want this to be straight, then come back up. That way from the back, this looks pretty much straight, and the majority of your rounded shape is here in the front. If, for example, it goes like this, this is gonna be more of a point at the bottom, which you don't want. So here is our shape. Now, the sewing version, which I will show you later, straps will get attached here, long straps, right? They would go off the page. Attached here, long straps. Our goal to make this no sew is to be able to have enough length of our fabric that we can cut this as one piece. So long straps, you go all the way across to the end, you cut, you come in, you go around, and you come back up, and this is one big piece of fabric with no seams and no sewing. For the plaid one that I'm gonna do, which I have the plaid going on a diagonal, because of the diagonal shapes, instead of being rounded out, I made mine more geometric shaped. So you're gonna see it's gonna be almost shaped like this with a little angled cutout for my shorter side. All right, you know what, let's start with that plaid one. So here is my fabric. You can see obviously the plaid can go on any direction. The fabric is opaque enough that I don't need to line it. And it has four-way stretch, which means that I can lay this fabric on the floor in any way I want, allowing me to have that full length of those straps. So after looking at it, I realized going on an angle is not only gonna make the fabric look cool, because I like the plaid on an angle, but it's gonna give me that full length for my straps. It's basically like cutting the skirt on a bias. But again, four-way stretch means I can cut it any way I want. Now just to be safe, I grabbed an old wrap skirt that I had and I laid it down just to make sure that I really did have like enough width. It's always helpful for me to visualize before I start cutting. So I laid it flat and kind of straightened out my straps where they were gonna go and I was like visualizing it with my hands. Like, okay, is this gonna work? I always get nervous right before I cut. So I kind of double, triple, quadruple check everything. And again, I'm basically doing that. I cut off the top straight. So this is the top. This is basically my waistband. You wanna make sure to cut it nice and straight and even. Again, a fabric that cuts clean is key here. And I go straight across. Now it's time to actually cut the rounded shape of my wrap skirt. I put a pin at the width of my fabric. Again, that's gonna be 48 to 54 inches wide in half. So that would really be 24-ish, right? So that's the shape I'm gonna create. I like sat there really scared to start. And then finally I started, here are my straps. I'm cutting it, I'm gonna round it, round it, and go straight down. Now when this opens up, this is my wrap skirt. I know it looks like nothing, it's very bizarre, but this is the structure. And again, for me, I didn't round the bottom out because I wanted to create that more geometric shape. One thing I really recommend doing is if you didn't cut your lines perfectly clean, go in with a rotary blade and a ruler to just clean up all the edges so they are like crisp as can be. Another thing I did is I wanted a little more thigh action. So after I was done and I wrapped it and tried it a bunch of ways, I just shaved off like two inches off the bottom, came all the way up and then met myself right back up at the straps. Another thing I did after trying it on is I didn't like that point at the bottom. It was just too long. I wanted it to be straight across the bottom with that little angle on the side. So while it was on me, I pinned it to a place that I liked it, kind of get a sense like, is that the right length? What do I want? And you can see right now it's folded and pinned. Anytime you do this when you hem pants, before you unpin it, either use like some chalk to draw a line. I didn't have any, so I just put some pins in the edge. That way then when you open it, you can see exactly where your line is and you make sure to cut it exactly as you pinned it, which I did. And now I basically have a straight bottom across the top, which I again shaved off with a rotary blade to make sure all my edges were perfectly crisp and clean. Now, the good thing with this is this fabric is super stretchy, and so you're gonna see I'll be able to tie it and wrap it a million different ways, which I love. Now, this is the more traditional version that I sketched for you. I'm gonna do the rounded version on this. This was some metallic, like, stretch, awesome stretch fabric that I had. The straps were not gonna be as long, but I still figured it was enough. It was gonna be about 14 inches, and I thought that was enough to make do. So I basically cut my straps, and now I'm just following the shape of my skirt. You can see, again, it goes straight, kind of around and then straight again. Once I remove the skirt off there, again, there is my wrap skirt. It's gonna be enough to wrap fully around my body. 
this is the end of the tie. I always like the way like ties look better on an angle. And again, since this is single layer, not cut, not frayed, I'm just gonna cut it straight on the fabric as is. See, like basically this is how it works. You wrap one side, right? Take it, wrap it around, and then you wrap the other. I tied a knot on that side to create that really cool draping detail, which is an option. And in my bonus video on Sunday, I'll show you all the different ways that you guys can actually tie and wrap and wear all these different things. Okay, let's move on to the sewing version. This is my favorite, and if you know how to sew, I highly recommend doing it this way. So. I am taking my fabric. I got this a yard and five eighths was all they had at Joann's. So I knew I was not able to do the straps all out of one piece. So I folded it in half and I grabbed my metallic skirt, which is basically the right pattern to start cutting. Now I lined it up and I'm not going to be cutting the straps of the skirt out of one piece here. So this is gonna be cut slightly different than the rest. I started cutting and my camera ran out of memory. So it stops like literally right here, here. <laughs> okay, so basically what you're gonna do is cut all the way around. This fabric is not stretch, so I gave myself about an inch and a half to two inches all the way around. I'm gonna go straight up and I'm gonna go right past those straps so that it just becomes that like U shape that I showed you guys in the pattern at the beginning. So now I cut off a long strip of fabric off the bottom and I'm gonna cut it in half so that I've got a strap for the right side and a strap for the left side. Decide how wide you want your strap to be and then you're gonna fold it together and sew it straight down. Obviously my fabric is face to face, that way when I flip it inside out, it will be right side out. You're just gonna do a simple straight stitch and now grab a safety pin, put it into your strap close it and feed it inside. This is how you flip any spaghetti strap, so most of you probably know this, but you're just basically scrunching the fabric along the safety pin, then hold onto the safety pin and slide the fabric around it until the entire thing flips inside out. Then remove your safety pin and press both of your straps so they're nice flat belts. I like putting my seam on the bottom, but you could hide it in the back, whatever you want. One thing that's nice about doing the seam on the bottom is it makes it very easy to create this sort of pointed edge, which I'm gonna sew in just a minute. Now, the next thing I need to do is just hem all the way around the edges of my skirt. I really like doing the double fold because it's perfectly clean finished and you don't see any raw edges anywhere. When I was doing all of the straight areas, I basically just did like the roll and fold while I was sewing it. It was really easy to do, super simple, just kind of roll, fold, and pull. And this is the only place I needed to pin was around the curved edge. It would be really difficult to try to roll and fold and sew around the curved edge all at the same time. So that's the one place you're gonna wanna do pins. And this is basically what our pattern looks like right now. You can see all the edges are curled up, so it's time to press that as well. You're just gonna press all of your seams. And guys, the more I think about it, the more I recommend doing a non-stretch fabric for the sewing version. It's much easier to sew and much more forgiving, especially for beginner sewers. Now this is my waistband. I'm gonna do the double fold on the waistband as well. So first thing I did was just fold down the little salvage edge, that'll be my first mini fold, and then I'll do another big fold. Now the size of my waistband is going to be based off the size of my straps. That's how I chose to do it. I folded it over and encased the waistband in it. So once I followed that little stitch line going along the stitch that already existed, not only did it start to fold down my waistband, but it also put my uh, straps into the skirt. Now I just folded the rest of it down, sewed it all the way across, and this is what we have. The only thing that I wanna do now is add a buttonhole in the waistband so it can function like a proper wrap skirt. The buttonhole foot on my machine is broken, so I'll just drop this off at my local tailor or dry cleaner, ask them to pop in that buttonhole, and we're done, you guys. Okay, that's it, that's it. I can't wait for you guys to see what these look like on, but I am planning on Sunday to do a bonus video of a like, how to wrap your wrap skirt in you know 15 different ways so stay tuned for that on sunday so if you aren't subscribed subscribe and click the notification so you get a notification because it's going to be a bonus video all right you guys thanks for being here have a beautiful week i will see you on sunday i hope on sunday. i know that i told you we're over i swear that i'm sober just listen i miss you and i know
I got my mini me with me right now. Blakey, Hi. say hello. And she wanted to hang out today, so I said, why not? You wanna go? Go. She ran out of patience. No, 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 just go out there with daddy. Go. And then close the door, okay? Close the door. Okay. 